I know it's important for agriculture communities to advocate for ourselves now more than ever. Farmers have a passion and a commitment to providing and putting food on the table for your families. This is their story. Hey y'all, Stephanie Nash here and I am with Dan Emick and his daughter Grace Emick here in Lewisport, Kentucky doing Time Changes, the life of a farmer. Hey guys, my name is Grace Emick. I'm an eighth generation farmer in Lewisport, Kentucky on an 800 acre grain farm. My love for agriculture began when I was nine. I came down to the farm with my dad like I usually do and he let me drive the combine for the first time and from that moment on I just knew that this is what I was meant to do. On the farm, we do our own mechanic work, so not only are we harvesting on a day-to-day -day basis, we are also working on our own equipment and fixing our own breakdowns. So that does kind of set us back a little bit, but it also teaches hard work, and now I know how my equipment runs to help me better run the equipment. When I was young, we, uh, we fed cattle here, finished out cattle. We also raised corn, soybeans, wheat, tobacco. Uh, we still raise corn and soybeans. Uh, we no longer have the cattle or the tobacco. Um, like I said, I'm seventh generation, Grace is eighth. Uh, the farm's been in the family for over 211 years now. Um, our family is originally from Germany. And when they immigrated here, I don't know, but it was, I don't know if they made a stop between Ellis Island and here, or if they came straight here, I don't know. Uh, but our farm is older than Hancock County. That's the county we live in. The original deed for the farm is recorded in Breckenridge County, which is to the east of us, because Hancock County wasn't formed for another 20 years. The problem we have in our country today is, when I was a boy, nearly everyone had a connection to the farm. Now they may not live on the farm, but their grandfather did. Well, now their grandfather is gone and they have lived in town for two generations or they have worked off the farm for two or three generations and they don't know, they don't know what we do here because they have no connection to it. They see combines and tractors driving up and down the road but they don't know what role the corn and the soybeans and the cattle, what all that, how that ends up in the store. One of my old bosses, I used to work at a cattle farm and one of my old bosses, he used to tell me that if you don't have something tied up with a grass string, then you're probably not making any money. And I think it's important for small farmers to understand that you don't have to have the nicest equipment or the biggest buildings or even concrete floors to be successful. You can do just as good as the big farmers with a dirt floor and a wood barn. I think it's important to remember that because everybody gets caught up in, you know, how do I look doing it? It's not even about farming anymore. It's about what you look like doing it. So I think it's really a good thing and I'm humbled to have grown up on this farm.